cuisine is remarkable, Blaze. Very flavorful and hearty. Well, thank you. I'm mighty glad you like it. Mm -hmm. Since you're probably going to be having your share of it from now on. Miss yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jenny's a real good cook, too. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Is she? Mm -hmm. Well, I have a knack with certain dishes. <laughs> well, I guess that's where Vicky gets her talent. Blaze, it was a truly wonderful meal, but... Yep. You really have to go. Yes, buddy, we do. Buck? Much of life to you. You taught me a lot about uh, strength, courage. Taught me a lot of things that, are, well, I never would have known otherwise. Well, you taught me a thing or two yourself, Clint. And I'm pleased and proud that my sons and my grandsons and my great-grandsons are more acceptable of change and not as honorary as I've been. Well, they're, some of them are even more so, but we love them just the same. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, you know there's not a lot of fellows that would take a complete stranger into his home and show him the trust and the respect that you showed me. I'm very grateful to you. Well, Clint, now you earned your respect. And you uh, taught me to stand up for what I knew was right. I'll always be grateful for the day that May and Buddy come delivered you to my doorstep. You take care of yourself. Here, you bet. Cody, clean it. Listen, uh, you know I ain't very good with words, but I've been downright honored to know you. Well, you know, the honor is mine. There's not a lot of fellas that uh, give a fella full support without any doubts or questions. Well, you and me, you taught me how to trust myself. That's allowed me to trust others, and that's an important lesson. And you're going to pass that on to your children and your grandchildren. Yes, sir. Hey. You know, without your love and kindness... I just feel all torn apart about this. I'm all happy that you and Vicky are going back home, but we are sure going to miss you here. And I just think that it's going to be kind of empty here without you. No, it's not. Your lives are going to be full of happiness and laughter and children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wish we could spend it together. Well, in a way, we will. We will. Godspeed, Clint. Thank you. here in town and my best one it's always going to be a special place in my heart for you me too Clint darn I didn't want to cry well you uh, you just be happy for me it's like I'm going to be happy for you Okay. You still got my rabbits with there? Oh. Bet your life I do. I'm gonna hang on to that little bunny's foot and till my dying day. I never had the opportunity to get you to know you all as well as Clint did, but I'm very grateful for the time we did have together. Especially to Blaze. Her determination made this reunion and made everything possible. And I thank you too. You two wonderful souls. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even exist. If Clint had not opened his heart. Jenny. You opening your heart gave me the most happiness I've ever known. I guess it's true what they say, that the future is just the past again, entered through a different door. And perhaps it's also true that time is simply an illusion, a veil you've managed to draw aside in order to glimpse a part of yourselves. 
This has been an extraordinary experience. A precious gift. One that we shall treasure always. Victoria, I would very much like for you to have this. May it warm you, as your love will always warm me. Thank you. Randolph? Please? Well, I think it's time. for downing your clear eyes. Every word you told us has come true. We faced obstacles and we overcame them. We formed some dear friendships and we found comfort, support and love, just like you told us. And we found each other. Your journey is almost at an end. You've learned your most important lesson. Love transcends time and space. It is the basis of all reality. Well, it's both what you told us and, and where we're going. We are all one in love. How can we ever thank you for the help you've given us? Be happy. Measure your time, not by the hours, but by the stars. I'll miss you, old friend. We will meet again one day in another time. Another place. Go in peace. wedded husband, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to have and to hold till death do you part. Do you, Randolph, take Virginia to be your lawfully wedded wife, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to have and to hold until death do you part? I do. Virginia, Randolph, may yours be a healthy, happy union. May you be kind to one another and to those you know and do not know. May you share your lives with many children and grandchildren, for indeed there can be no greater blessing than a family to carry on your name and the love you pledge today. As you have pledged that love with rings of precious gold and sacred vows, I now pronounce you man and wife. Well, go on, son. Yes, sir. You don't have to shout. I'm awake, Annie. I'm sorry, darling. I'm sorry to wake you. I just had the most unbelievable realistic dream. So did I. We were back in Buchanan City. We were in Blaze's Saloon. And you'll never... And Randolph and Ginny were getting married? Yeah, Randolph. How'd you know that? 
Well, believe it or not, I just had the same dream.